Hey guys, it's Melissa Mara with Vintage Bee Design, and today we're going to do something a little bit different in that I'm barely going to use any wood, but I am still going to stencil, so hang on to the edge of your seats for that. Okay, so I have some muslin that I ordered off of Amazon, and I've cut it down. These are about, I'm going to say about 12 inches tall, and each tree is about 4 inches wide. I'm using the grids on my cutting mat to make this very easy and I'm just using a pencil to score the triangles. After I have all of my triangles cut, I'm gonna use a Maker Studio Christmas to-do list to basically screen print. This is how I'm gonna stencil everything. I loved this pattern. I'm just using a little bit of Dixie Belle. I'm using a squeegee and pushing it onto my fabric. And I do this with all of the triangles and I did some in red and some in green. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on As my triangles are completed, I go ahead and safety pin them together with the blank backside because I am going to heat set these after I have them all stenciled. When can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? If I could stop So I first let them air dry completely and then I throw them into a lingerie bag or I then toss them into the dryer and put them on permanent press for about 20 minutes at the highest heat I can with nothing else in the dryer. And this will permanently set your paint. Next step is to attach them to each other. In this case, I am just gonna use my hot glue gun. You could of course use a sewing machine, but mine is in a place that is gonna be very difficult to get it out, so a glue gun works. Forever, forever, forever. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything is complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I Once you have all of your trees glued, leaving that bottom seam open, we're gonna throw them back in the lingerie bag. And I actually decided to wash and then dry mine. And the reason I did that was because I wanted the edges a little bit more frayed. After I did that, then we're gonna go to stuffing. Now I did take them out of the dryer to allow a little more fraying and you'll see it kind of rolled them up. One of the advantages of the lingerie bag is it does keep them a lot flatter. As you might remember from a previous project that I did, I have an entire box of these bobbins. They are replicas, they are not um, old fashioned or antique. And so I'm gonna use those as my tree stalks, stems, trunks. Uh, anyway, I'm also gonna use some batting that I have. And one of the great ways to get batting cheap is to actually get them from thrift store pillows, if you don't mind. And you can always wash those to keep it clean. Um, but I am gonna just stuff this up in here and I'm gonna use a pencil to get it all the way up into the tip. I don't want this overly stuffed. I just want it um, a little bit padded, if you will. And I'm gonna stuff it about three quarters of the way. Uh, each, each tree was a little bit different in how much I stuffed it and how much the spindle um, was showing which gave me a variety of heights but overall I'm stuffing it about three quarters of the way I'm just adding a little bit of hot glue onto my bobbin to help me really finish this process I'm it's going to stick to the back and then I'm going to finish stuffing the sides and throw another dab of hot glue right across that bottom portion and that will seam it off I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. Forever. Next up. 
we get the fun of embellishing them. I had this little group of jingle bells set aside for another project that I never did. So I decided I was gonna just loop it around my tree and give it a little glue. Then I had a good time with a variety of other uh, crafts. These are from Reflections, which I found at Michael's. Uh, this was from some scrapbooking and some other projects that I did years and years ago. I located the box when I was cleaning my craft room and I thought, well, these could make fun little embellishments. The options for embellishing these are virtually endless. Here are the ones that I did. I would love to hear what you think about the designs. I really enjoyed being able to create my own fabric patterns. Leave a note in the comments below to let me know which was your favorite and what you thought. So we're gonna use a Maker Studio Best Time of the Year stencil for this. I actually have a lot of projects picked out for these. I just ran out of time this weekend and I'm going out of town next week. So hopefully I'll get some done before the next video, but look forward to some really fun projects using these. Anyway, I decided to go ahead and cut them apart so that each saying has its own little block and I am gonna be working with the Mary Everything for this project. I had this scrap piece of wood in my garage. This is actually from a bed that I took apart. You might remember that bed. So it was already painted and I didn't have to do anything to it. I literally just basically stuck the stencil on here and went to town. This is Dixie Belle's Muscadine wine. Forever. I'm loving this moment. We stay here forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here? Sometimes you have those moments where you think you've hit record and instead you hit picture. Basically, I gave this a quick sand, put a little bit of Dollar Tree sparkly ribbon around the outside, and now I'm going to start building up a little bit of greenery on top. I've broken this down into chapters, so this section is a little bit long. If you don't want to stay for it, you can always fast forward and uh, advance the next chapter, but I left it in for people who really don't know how to build out the greenery on top. Forever, I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm just loving. I could stop the time, don't you know that I would, cause I'm 
I'm really pleased at how this one came out. I'm looking forward to showing you more ways to use the mesh stencils. In the meantime, I really, really like this project. The next two projects I did sort of concurrently and one was inspired by the other. I had these four legs from a previous um, sort of disassembly of pieces and then I realized that some old bed springs that I've had for ever actually fit great over top of them. I had this idea of really embellishing the bed springs and I kind of went a little crazy with one of them and then I decided that it needed to be much more simple. Once again, I'll be using my little pack from Reflections, which I got at Michael's. Now you get to see my really sort of overly embellished piece. This is, I it, it, it just went nuts. I, I don't know what happened. Um, I'm gonna call this ambient crafting because I actually was doing this about 2.30 last night. Uh, but I, what I needed to finish the top were these little uh, Dollar Tree bottle brushes. And so I went to Dollar Tree and bought four packs because that's how many of the legs that I have. I have a lot more springs, but those are how many legs I have. And I am deciding how I want to do embellishing the little top of the tree because he looked a little weird being completely naked. We'll watch this process for a minute and then we'll get on to the more normal versions of this that I think actually came out really cute. Forever. So is it a monstrosity or is it kind of adorable in its own little way? The next ones are much more refined and I think a little more popular. You can see simple embellishments really helped. I really just painted the wood leg, attached the small tree, and then used the ribbons as embellishments. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And so while I was at Dollar Tree, I realized that I would have an extra set of trees. So I picked up those little jars and filled them with sand and some seashells and came up with these for a quick Dollar Tree craft. The next market is only a few days away and I will be heading out of town tomorrow to pick up some supplies for it. Our next video will likely be on how we do at Vintage Market Days, the setup and more booth tips. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. It really helps out. And um, be sure to tell your friends. I really appreciate it when you comment on things or you share my posts. That helps a lot also. And if you're interested in any of the products that I used, please check out our website, vintagebedesign.com. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.